Hi, it's Lux. I have uh, something I'd like to share with you. It won't take long. It's slicing loops in potentially a different way than you have been doing it, maybe. Today I'm using New Sonic Arts Vice. I've had it for a while now. It's a loop browser, loop slicer. It's got effects and modulation for each of the slices. It's really cool. And they are my uh, new favorite developer right now. So I also intend to do more of a extensive overview of Vice in the future. But today I thought I'd show you this quick little tip. Let me know if you find it helpful and also let me know if uh, you have other cool tips that I can maybe make a video for and share with others. All right, so do me a favor, like, dislike, uh, especially subscribe. Uh, I'd be grateful for that. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. So what is Vice? Vice is a loop slicer. Drag a loop in, cuts it up. You have various ways of doing that. Also comes with some uh, presets for you to work with. These can be triggered by a MIDI keyboard or by the MIDI notes that it exports as I'll show you here in a second. You can affect each slice with the tools that are at the bottom of the plugin. Not something I'm gonna get into today, but note that they're there and you can do some really creative loop manipulations. So once you've done this, once you've messed around, you found something that you like, you can go down to the bottom right here, the right side of the plugin, and it has options on how to export this. You can export as audio. You can also export it as MIDI, and there are some other export options. But for this, we're going to export MIDI. Now I'm on the hunt. I'm looking for a complex type of drum loop, one like you're listening to now. And there's a reason for that. Yeah, I don't want the loop, but I want the MIDI notes that it exports. Okay, I'm here in Bitwig. Of course, you can be in any DAW. I'm gonna drag the MIDI notes from Vice over into a clip here in Bitwig. So here's Vice. Here are the MIDI notes. And if I were to push play, it's gonna play through these MIDI notes, triggering the slices in the loop, as it should. However, I don't want these MIDI notes to trigger this specific drum loop. I want them to trigger something else. So what will happen if I just throw an entirely different loop into Vice, yet letting it still obey the notes that it is, uh, is exported earlier? Well, the results could be pretty cool. See, as far as the MIDI notes are concerned, they still think they're triggering the slices from the other loop, assuming they think. So now these MIDI notes are actually triggering slices in this loop here, obviously. And the sensitivity knob changes or provides different slices for these MIDI notes to trigger. All right, let me throw something else into it. This is a drum loop. So I'll change the sensitivity. Let me try something different here. I'm gonna just play with the sensitivity again. See if there's something cool to pull out of it. Yeah, so I think you're you're getting the gist here. Let me try another. All right, for the heck of it, a couple more. I like this a lot because it's just, it's random. But as you're gonna hear in a minute, it just works. The random still works. So here's another one. All right, I'll stop messing around and let me use this one. All right, I'm gonna start laying some loops underneath this. Again, adjust the sensitivity, see what else comes out of this. And 
and let's try this one again. So don't forget this is the these are the MIDI notes that we pulled from that original drum loop. Yeah, I like this one. Let's see what this does. Alright, I'm sick of those other loops, so let's try a new variation here. Let's see, how about some synth wave? Sure, why not? So just changing the sensitivity, you're going to get some good and some bad results. That's okay. And if you're not completely bored by now, here's one more and I'll let you go. I think the idea, remember, take the MIDI groove, the MIDI notes from one chopped sample or one audio that's been converted to MIDI and then use that on other audio and you get some really interesting random uh, unique variations to your loops. So I've layered two on top here. So as usual, thanks so much for listening, watching, 